Hey YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters. Back again with another little TD6 video. I know I've done several videos on this same topic recently, but I just wanted to do one more because I wanted to make a more clear video on how to transmit the data using a computer. Now, I actually did find a way to do this using a Mac, which is before I always had problems using a Mac. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to transmit and receive data from your TD6. Uh, that is, you know, being able to back up all of your custom kits and be able to install the ones that I make using a PC computer and a Mac computer. Now, the two programs we're going to be using uh, to complete this task is for PC, there's one called Midiox, and for Mac, there's one called SysX Librarian. I'll post links to both of these down below. They both, both work really, really well. So let's just go ahead and start walking through the process of how to do this. It's really simple. Just make sure you have a good MIDI connection from your TD6 to your computer, whether it be a PC or a Mac, and these should work just fine. So let's go ahead and get to it. In order to make this work, what you're gonna have to do is connect the MIDI output uh, from your TD6 to a MIDI input. In this case, I'm using the Alesis IO4. Uh, this is for the, uh, the backup process. And then you're gonna want to basically reverse that cable and go from the output into the input of the TD6 when you're restoring it. Now you could just have two cables, you know, both plugged in at the same time into the input and output, but I only have one cable, so that's why I'm switching it. Uh, but make sure you do that. You could also use a USB MIDI cable or something like that, but make sure it's a good one uh, because those don't always work so well. Uh, make sure you're getting one with good reviews. If it's like one of these really cheap $5 ones, sometimes they, they seem to have errors when they're trying to transmit data. All right, so I've opened up MIDIOX, and the first thing we want to do before we even try to transmit any data is go into our SysX window here, and you can get there a couple of different ways. You can either click this third icon over here, or you can go to View and then click on SysX right here. So I'm just gonna go the first way, click this little button. Okay, now this is our main window that we're actually going to be using uh, to, per to perform this task. Now, before we do this though, let's go into SysX menu here. And we're gonna go into configure. So what we wanna do is make sure that we don't send data too quickly uh, to where the TD6 will have an error. So the best way to do that is to put some delays between the buffers. And what? And we can perform that task by going to this little window right here. You can see right there where it says delay between buffers. So let's just go ahead and increase this. This is in milliseconds. I'm gonna increase this all the way up to like, I don't know, 240, that's probably good. So let's go ahead and do that on both. All right, and that should be good. If it doesn't work, if you get a checksum error, on the TD6, then you just have to increase that a little bit more. But I think this should be fine. So once we do that, we just click OK. And now we go to SysX and we go to Receive Manual Dump. OK, now it's basically just waiting for us to send the dump from the TD6. So let's go ahead there and do that now. OK, so I've shown this several times already in other videos, but let's just go over it one more time. So we're going to hold down Shift and press Setup and, that, and then push the Over arrow the right arrow rather, until you get to bulk dump, press enter again, and then press enter one more time, and then one more time. Now it's transmitting the data, and you should see it going to MIDIOX right now. Uh, let me go ahead and let this finish, and then I'll show you the result. All right, so it finished sending the SysX data, so we just click done here. Now we just wanna make sure we save this. Now saving in MIDIOX is kind of strange. What you wanna do is click somewhere in this box here, uh, can press down Control and A on your keyboard to select all, and then right click this area and just go to Save As. Okay, and now we can name this, let's just call it TD6 Backup MIDIOX 12. Dash 16. Okay, I have like a bunch of backups in here. They're all pretty much the same, uh, except for that old one there. But anyway, let's go ahead and save this. And now 
what we'd want to do if we want to put the data back to the TD6, the way to do this is we go back to our SysX window here, and then we go to file and we go send SysX file. Oh, first, we need to make sure we select our output. So let's do that. So let's go in here. And I forgot to show you this too for the input. So you want to make sure you map your input and your output correctly in MIDIOX. So let's go ahead and select the IO4. That's my audio interface. Click OK. And on the TD6, you don't have to do anything. There's nothing you have, like no menu you have to go to or anything like that. It's basically just always waiting to receive uh, SysX data, which kind of is weird, but that's okay. That's just how it is. So we're gonna click uh, show the SysX window again, and then we're gonna go to open, or sorry, send SysX file. And now let's select the one we just had, which was, where is it? Here we go. Click open. And now it's just sending the data. You can see the data being sent on this window back here. And so once that finishes sending all of that data, then the new patches or whatever you just uh, you know wanted to write to the TD6 will be there. All right, now let's show you guys how to do this on Mac. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, I just finally found a good program that can do it. All right, so in order to do this correctly in Mac, you're going to need this program called SysX Librarian. And I'll post a link down below uh, to download this. And this is the best one that I've found. I've tried various things on Mac and none of them seem to work, uh, but this one works really, really well, actually. So this is the web page. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. So let's go to SysX Librarian. I already have it installed and I guess I'll check automatically, that's okay. All right, so in order to do this, what you wanna do is tap this button that says Record Mini. Now you can see it's waiting for the SysX messages. So what I'm gonna do is just, you know, do the manual dump from the TD6 like I did before. I don't need to show you that again, but it's the same process where you just hold down shift and press setup and then over until you get to bulk dump, press enter and then enter again. And now you can see it's receiving all of the SysX messages. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this because I already did it, uh, but you just let that finish. And then once you finish, you'll have your SysX file here in this list. Uh, you can save this as a different name is what I did. And then once you want to restore it back to the TD6, all you have to do is literally just tap it here. Double click. Oops, sorry. Double click. And now it's sending the data to the TD6. And that's really, really it. So this thing works really good. And it's also, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because like I said, I already, I already did this on mine. Uh, make sure you go in here to your preferences first. And this is just like MIDIOX where you can do the transmit speed. So I set mine to 45%, which seems to work okay. Uh, but if you get checksum errors when you're trying to transmit data to the TD6, uh, slow that down, and then it should take care of it. You can also mess with your transmit buffer size. I set mine to 128. Um, you know, of course, I'm just totally guessing, <laughs> but that seems to work. So anyway, that is it. Now you could save data and, you know, restore data to the TD6 using either Android, uh, PC, and Mac computers. So that's all. All right, everybody, that's going to be all for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload new content. Also, don't forget to follow me on Spotify. There's some links down below. You can check out Demonic Sweater's music. You can also check out my record label, which is anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com. And uh, that's the best way to support what I do here. If you like this channel, I don't use Patreon or anything like that. So you can support me by checking out my music. Anyway, I'll see you guys really soon. And uh, have a great day. Later.